What is going on everybody and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today we do have a very fun Prismari deck that we are going to jump into. Before we do that, I just want to mention, first of all, we do have our Instagram giveaway going on right now until the 28th. So please make sure, I believe it's 28th, please make sure that you uh, take the time to go follow us over there, re uh, repost that and tag us in it. And that is the way you enter. Uh, we're trying to push ourselves up to 10,000. We're definitely not gonna get there with this one, but that's okay. Still gonna be a really fun time. So please do check that out. Link is in the description. Now, let's jump into the deck today, guys. So as I said, this is a Prismari deck. It is the Double Dragons deck built by, I believe, Hello Good Game. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, I apologize, but I believe credit goes to Hello Good Game for this one. And the idea and the name really comes from having Goldspan Dragon as well as Galazeth uh, Prismari here in one list. Also, if you hear my dog sneezing, my dog is sneezing. Uh, anyway, uh, the idea is to essentially control the early game with a lot of things like Negates, Brazen Borrower, Saw It Coming, Bone Crusher, Prismari Command, one of my favorite cards from. Uh, from Strixhaven, uh, Draconic Intervention, which is a really interesting card as well, and then draw our way into creating some treasure tokens and then slamming one of our big game winners, which is Allrun's Epiphany or Magma Opus. Uh, now, Magma Opus has some early gameplay as well and that we can uh, discard it to make a treasure token, hopefully ramping into something like a Goldspan or a Prismari and then being able to build those treasure tokens even more. Uh, Draconic in Intervention does give us a way to kind of sweep uh, against the non-dragon style decks, which hopefully hits a lot of things, actually. Uh, and so hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can we can do some cool stuff. Uh, it's a really interesting deck. I've had some very good fun with it. We only have to run... Uh, uh, well, basically, we're at the standard 24 despite having some really big uh, cards in the deck, but we don't really need that many lands because we've got so many treasure tokens. So here's to hoping we can get at least a few wins. We are going to shoot for about four games today uh, and see what we can do, guys. But it's great to be back. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, we, uh, Caitlin and I got to go to a wedding. It was beautiful. We had a great time. Very hot uh, here in South Carolina right now. And so it was a little... A little too hot, I would say, but we had a fantastic time regardless. You know, I'm actually going to keep this. This is a nice two into three uh, and then into four, hopefully, as well. Also, if you do hear my dog just like randomly growling, uh, I apologize. She's on edge today, man, and I have no idea why. Uh, at the end of the turn, we may discard the Magma Opus. We'll see what they decide to do. Uh, looks like they are. We're definitely not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and Bone Crusher this away. Uh, easy. Easy, easy. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out, and we will just run out the Bone Crusher here. Uh, chances are this is obviously a Frostbite deck, so um, the the worry here is more removal than anything else. We should be able to outpower that, but we will see. Uh, looks like they do want to trade here. You know, I'm okay with trading. Uh, I'm perfectly happy to do that. Bone Crusher is not our plan A, so that's fine by me uh and let's go ahead and play galazeth uh getting that treasure token which is great and hopefully hopefully uh we can ramp ourselves into this gold span dragon and then eventually magma opus we've got all the pieces here to really take over if we uh get enough mana here uh so and we don't even have to if we i mean we play island we play gold span dragon we don't even have to use the the treasure tokens which puts us in a really really solid position uh against this deck uh, given that this is a very aggressive deck, I'm expecting something like an Embercleave coming down soon. Um, but given just how much life we have, I'm not terribly worried about it. We also have the Brazen Borrower as a much needed backup as well here. So we'll see if we need it uh, to, to bounce that Embercleave. But I'm going to keep doing the, uh, the damage here and hopefully we can Magma Opus something away. There's the Phoenix. That's fine. Phoenix is very good for sure. Uh, but it's not enough, and I'm just going to take this damage, I think. Um, no Embercleave coming down, thankfully, which is very good news. Uh, <laughs> and here we just get to Magma Opus, uh, and I think this is the best thing we can do. Well, I guess we can instant speed do this, though, can't we? So let's wait. Let's attack in first. Uh, worth noting, Magma Opus is an instant. I always forget that because it is so powerful. Uh, but what this allows us to do is now wait, see what they do, uh, and ideally, hopefully at least, let's, uh, let's take it. It's going to deal two. And I assume they have another one. 
yeah. Uh, but we get all of these treasure tokens from this, <laughs> uh, which is really good. Um, okay, so let's do this. We're gonna deal four here. Uh, or no, we can actually just split all of this up. That's so nice. Uh, wow, missed opportunity. I should have played this a little better, actually. Um, let's do that. Just go ahead and sweep their board. Um, basically, what we should have done is, in response to the first one, tapped the other two lands. I guess they could have just done something in response, though, so maybe that's not the best play. Uh, regardless, we just basically cleared their board and won the game. So, doesn't really matter. Game one goes to us. I love it. Uh, such a good tempo game. I absolutely love that. I'm gonna zoom in ever so slightly. And let's jump into game two, guys. Let's see what we can do. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, guys, did you have a fun weekend? Uh, give me something fun that you did this weekend. I would love to know. It Also, if you do enjoy our gameplay, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. We like to have a good time and just chill here. Um, we don't go into too much depth, though we do try and give some fair evaluations uh, occasionally. <laughs> uh, and so I do hope that the, you find these gameplay videos at least fun uh, and maybe even a little helpful. <laughs> uh, but for us, it's much more of just an enjoyable thing to, to hang out with you guys and do. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. We really do. Also, you'll notice I don't have the, the card shelf behind me. Uh, unfortunately, it's moved actually over to the side here. Uh, I say unfortunately. I think it's for the best, honestly. Uh, I really do. Uh, I think we just pass here. We can Brazen Borrow or something, uh, or just discard a Magma Opus and get a treasure, which would ramp us a good bit. Um, okay, this is just another dwarf deck. Uh, this is perfect, honestly. I'm just gonna bounce this. All right. So they do get a treasure token, which they can just use to replay this, but crucially they can't give it haste now. Uh, so we do just get kind of a blanket turn, uh, which is good. Because they did use that to uh, tap that down. Um, so here we just, I think, lay this out. Obviously this this really represents the Brazen Borrower, but we do have the Solid coming to hopefully uh, counter something as well. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, this might be too aggressive uh, for us to actually beat, unfortunately, given that we just don't have like bone crushers or anything like that in hand to, to really deal with them. So we'll do the best we can, but I uh, don't have the highest of hopes here. Uh, the question becomes, do we actually even counter this? I'm going to say no. Um, I don't think we do. Uh, as good as expressive iteration, I think, is, I don't think that's what we do. Um, okay, get your land, that's fine. Do they have any follow-up play? The The thing for us is we've got like a win-win where we just get to play Brazen Borrower if we want. So I am going to just do that, um, just to get something out. If they have the Bone Crusher, they could very easily kill that, but it looks like they don't, which is good for us. Okay, so we do have Prismari Command here. Uh, I think the play is going to be to fire this thing off for sure. Um, the question is, do we do that now? And I think we do, knowing that they've got blue. So we do this and destroy an artifact. Let's steal here and let's destroy this. I think that's the best play. They may have a solid coming right now. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, no, they're going to let that happen. They could have let that happen because they just have something else in hand. Also worth noting, we do just attack here. We cannot block uh, ground creatures with Brazen Borrower, so there's really no point in leaving it up. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and attack in there. We do, they get a free turn without having to worry about Solid coming, which is a little scary for us. Um, but we're at the point of just stemming the bleeding as best we can. Um, interesting. Okay. Very cool. Uh, interesting card. Very interesting card. Okay, uh, well, we get a Goldspan Dragon here, which is pretty solid. I am just going to attack in uh, because essentially this makes it a lot easier for us to, to ramp into something big next turn. I'm going to end the turn here. Uh, we can instant speed Magma Opus, which we don't need to, to be brutally honest. That basically does nothing at this point, so... Okay, they are going to create another treasure token. Uh, just out of curiosity. Yeah, I'm just going to counter that. 
I'm totally happy to, to counter that. Uh, that just means if they do have another way to deal with it, they're going to have to two for one, uh, which is cool with me. Uh, we do burn our treasure tokens to do that, I understand, but they clearly don't have a ton going on at the moment, so we might actually be able to save this. We will see. We will see. Let's go ahead and attack in. Uh, safe bet is to Epiphany, uh, just because. And this should be the win. We honestly could have just Magma Opus for the win, but either way, we got it, guys. That is game two. We won it. We are kicking some butt with this deck. Let's go ahead and jump into game three. We're only at 11 minutes as well. We're doing pretty well on time. We may get a fifth game in. We will see. Regardless, this has been a very fun deck already. Uh, I do encourage you to try this one out. Uh, the, the Prismari builds seem to be my favorite, uh, which was a bit of a surprise. I love Is It. I've always loved Blue Red, but uh, I really thought the Witherbloom decks were going to kind of, I don't know, pique my interest a bit more than they have. Uh, not that they're bad by any means, but I definitely thought I would get a bit more out of them, and I just didn't. Uh, and so I've, I've really been enjoying the Prismari decks, I'll be honest. They just seem very solid. Uh, this is a little not great for us because this tends to be a very rough deck to, to fight against. Here's a Croxa, uh, which honestly isn't great, but because this is a legendary creature, I'm perfectly happy to discard one. So that's fine by me. Um, and we throw out the red source and we do have Brazen Borrower up here. Uh, I'm guessing they have village rights. So otherwise, I don't think they'd have the Eye Witch in the deck. Uh, it just seems like kind of a gimme. Um, what we could have done is bounce that at the end of the turn, but given that it's only a 1-1, a one -one, I'm not terribly worried about it. I'd rather see what they've got coming down. Uh, and it's just another Eye Witch. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to pass, honestly. I'm not going to, uh, to take that chance. We pass here as well, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm very curious. This is an interesting one. We're not under a lot of pressure, but they do have Croxa in the yard, which is a bit scary. Um, I'm going to try and bounce one. They may just village rights it. Uh, but I think we kind of just need to do something here to be brutally honest. Yep, there's village rights. Makes total sense. Uh, essentially two for three. So they're up on value by a card, which is great. Uh, that's why that card is so good. Uh, especially in this current meta. It's just killer. Whoa, Strider. Okay. So they do have this in hand, which is a bit scary, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm going to throw the Prismari out there, though. Um, this gets us a treasure token, which crucially means that we can play Goldspan Dragon, and we've got three of them. So I think it's worth it. Uh, even though they are just going to straight up kill this, I guarantee it. Uh, that's, I think, just their safest play. Um... But they do only have three cards in the yard, so they're not quite there with Croxa yet. It looks like they do have white as well, so this is a Mardu list. Curious as to why they're playing the white. Uh, generally, I've seen this deck run just the black-red. Um, however, obviously, there's, there's a world where that's not the case, so very interesting. Very interesting. There's the Epiphany, which is quite good. Uh, let's go ahead and get Goldspan down. Uh, we do just need to have some pressure on the battlefield. I am going to attack in as well. Uh, crucially, this gets us uh, some mana here. And the question becomes, do we epif or, uh, uh, foretell the Epiphany or Brazen Borrower? I'm going to leave up the Brazen Borrower here. Uh, so in response to something they do, we can just bounce whatever they do. I think that is the better play. Um, it seems to me that when we are in a position where we've got the Goldspan Dragon or something like that out, having a backup kind of play is definitely the way to do it. Okay, uh, this is very good. So that makes us sack a thing. Uh, interesting we didn't have... Hmm. Uh, well, this still lets us chain into another Goldspan Dragon if we want, uh, which I'm cool with. Let's do it. I think we do it. Uh, let's just make sure. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and bounce the 3-6 here. 
they may have a village rights i have no clue uh they've left open mana for it so this would be the perfect time to do it yep but we could not let that thing stick around very crucially so i think that was just the right play and here we are at a position where we just foretell the epiphany um crucially this means that if we draw a land we just get a free extra turn uh if we don't draw a land we can still just play goldspan dragon without using any of our uh token mana that we would potentially get from this goldspan dragon so i think we are in the best position we can be they still have some major plays up up their sleeve though uh crucially this mascot exhibition is a great way to finish the game in these uh less index okay uh yeah so we just discard the gold span uh it's all we can do but we do get the epiphany down most likely okay yeah we do um so let's attack in get that treasure token that's fine they're gonna block here they're gonna get a learn or a, a lesson from their sideboard which isn't good for us but it's not the end of the world uh and then we epiphany so we're gonna get six more damage in that's interesting let's go ahead and do this huh let's view battlefield really quick do we have we don't have anything in our graveyard to really make that worth it uh so i'm gonna put both of these on the bottom uh and then we'll draw two very interesting okay uh let's attack in uh importantly this negate could be very very good so but first let's go ahead and do this get another treasure token so now even if something happened to one of our creatures we've still got the negate up if they're smart they attack first yep that's the way to do it get the card out of hand uh we can block with this i don't think we do take that six uh, that is a lot of damage, but it's not the end of the world uh, because we're dealing quite a bit on the backswing here. So, okay. A very, very good card. Uh, but is it enough? Three, four, five. It is technically. Okay. Why didn't they? Have, I'm interested. Well, I guess it didn't matter. They didn't need to steal it. Uh, they're going to sack it to this, which is very smart. Uh, although... They tap it if they do, so that was useless. <laughs> uh, that's kind of funny. Okay. Um, I mean, they have to block one of these little guys. There's just no way they can't. Uh, becomes tapped. So they block, they tap it, and they deal with the gold span dragon, but they still take five. And to do that, they had to sack Croxa. And that's the fifth card in their graveyard. All right, so we have to deal one damage and they have to deal seven. Uh, can they deal seven? If they can play Croxa, they could deal seven. Might have been best to leave one of the birds back, uh, but it looks like they don't have the mana. I don't think they've got the mana. That's not gonna do it, certainly. Uh, although they do gain a life. So that's something to consider. When they sacrifice those, they gain a life. So they do get, uh, oh, very cool, okay. But they then lose that life with the, the plume they forgot, or forbidden. And they just die to their own, yeah. That was weird. All right, well, we got the win. That is our third straight win, guys. Getting up to plat three. Feeling pretty good about this. Let's go ahead and jump into, I think it will be our fourth and final game. Uh, we are sitting just under 20 minutes at this point, so we'll we'll get one more game in. We'll probably end it there, but my goodness, 3-0. and oh. Guys, we are killing it with this deck. Uh, I think we could have played a bit cleaner there uh, on that last game, but overall I felt pretty good about it. So let's see if we can get through this next game unscathed. Uh, do we like this hand? Yes and no. I'm going to keep it just to see. These epiphanies are not what you really want in your opening hand, to be very honest. Uh, and the Ozolith is going to be a fun one to contest with. Uh, hopefully this Bone Crusher Giant will come in handy, but uh, this is going to be a very, very frustrating one. I'm assuming a Luminarch? No. Okay. Uh, 
immediately just gonna go ahead and do this. <laughs> um, no reason not to, truthfully. We could have waited, I guess, uh, but I don't really think it matters. It would have, I suppose, not moved counters over, um, but that's okay. All right, uh, there is the saw it coming. Uh, so we do just leave that up and see what happens. Um, probably just counter anything at this point, I think. And if not, we just foretell a card, I suppose. Uh, don't care about that. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get anything either. That kind of stinks. Uh... So what is the play? I think it's still just passed. This is an obvious saw it coming, um, but while we're not under the most amount of pressure, I'm gonna leave it up. There's that. That's good enough to counter for sure. That gets that out of there, just something we don't have to worry about. Um, and we really need a land here, and that still isn't a land. Okay, well, we Bone Crusher Giant. This is the best thing we can do uh, to, to provide us with some blocks here. They've got plenty to do though. Uh, this Draconic Intervention, if we can draw a land, would be great. <laughs> um, okay, uh, this is actually really helpful. So we destroy target artifact and we can create a treasure, which I think might just be the right thing to do. I would love to just take, uh, take uh, the two damage and kill something here. Um, but this just gives us a very clean way to answer the Ozolith and a fourth mana. Uh, we didn't have to instant speed that or uh, main phase that, by the way. We very easily could have just waited, um, but it's fine. Hopefully they just don't have a follow up Ozolith, to be honest. All right, cool. And there's the land anyway. <laughs> OK, uh, well. So at this point, uh, we have the the intervention, which seems very good to me. Uh, we can exile one of these, deal three to everything, and be pretty well set. Uh, first things first, if we're going to do that, we do need to attack. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. They're just going to take it. Okay. Uh, so the trick then becomes... Uh, if we do that, then they can make the Swarm Shambler live. I don't love that. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. This gives us another uh, uh, treasure token, which puts us up a little bit closer to the ever important six to seven range. It also keeps negate available. So if they do get an Ozolith, we can just, you know, throw a throw a negate at it and be done. Uh, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, we do need to deal with these at some point, but I don't think that was the turn to do it. Oh, even better. 100% uh, negating that. Uh, <laughs> Love the fact that Prismari gives you the ability to keep these around, by the way. Uh, we're just going to take it. It's totally fine. All right. Uh, let's see. What is the best play here? Well, we can certainly Prismari command. Uh, killing a Swarm Shambler, then attack in. Uh, I think we can wait, technically, so we can attack first. We'll see what they do. If they want to block, great. If they don't, fantastic. Uh, they could try and double block, which would be amazing, honestly, because it just means that we get to kind of sweep-ish, uh, at least. Yep. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um... Yeah. That's kind of fine. Um, question is, do we want to foretell this? I think. I do think the answer is yes. Let's just go ahead and do that. It sets us up pretty well for next turn. I'm going to end the turn. They can just play this, uh, the chain web, um, by exiling the other four cards. That does give them a very strong creature, but. Interesting. Okay, well, we just get to kill that, so that's kind of fine. Prismari Command really does wonders, guys, in case you weren't sure. Um, so we do that, then what's the follow-up? Do we literally just create another treasure? I think it might be just create another treasure. Nope, now it's to kill this. Okay, so destroy a target artifact, 
and deal two damage. So two damage here, destroy artifact. They do get a 1-1 out of it, that's fine. But we get rid of both of those two kind of decent threats. We do take four in the process, but we've got the epiphanies now uh, to, to kind of utilize here. I'm just going to go with this first, since it's more mana efficient to, I think, do it this way. Get to attack in. That's fine. We're going to just chomp through their creatures here as best we can. Um, now we could... Uh, no, we can't quite yet. Okay. Uh, let's do it again. Because why not? Uh, all right, there we go. We got the win on our fourth game as well. Guys, that's a 4-0 sweep. We've never done that. No, that's not true. We've very rarely done that. Uh, but wow, what a, what a great deck. Uh, so... Let's, let's kind of sum up our thoughts here on this one, because uh, I do think this is an interesting deck. I think, like I said, the Prismari color uh, scheme has really, I think, been the most fun uh, from the Strixhaven line uh, as, at the, as of this point. I thought Witherbloom was going to be up there. Str or Prismari really, really took it for me. Um, I love the treasure sub theme. I think that really kind of puts things over the top. You get a lot of value for very very interesting spells uh and i i like that a lot there's some big payoffs things like magma opus there's some great ways to get there with goldspan dragon and uh galazeth uh, i just think that they have a very very nice uh set of spells that allows you to kind of do whatever you need to do uh so i'm very much in the camp of prismari i love it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please do test this deck out if you enjoyed it uh and again thank you to hello good game who i believe created this list this is not one that i created uh but it was a very fun list to play today so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it make sure you leave a like or a comment down below and make sure you enter our instagram giveaway the link is down in the description so you can check all of that out but guys, thank you so much. I love you all very much. I hope you had a fantastic Monday. I'll see you again, hopefully tomorrow, with some more gameplay action.